Today is Christmas 2011 and this video is in response to several people asking about different corals in my tank so I thought I'd just do a quick run around if it can be quick and describe the corals that you see in my full tank shot here. First I'll start down here in the lower left. There's a couple of the yellow tangs there but there's this yellow polyped um, Gorgonian. I've had it maybe about a month. Um, it's doing pretty good so far. It seems to be responding to feeding. Behind it is a red gorg with white polyps. It's doing really well. Um, seems to be open about 90% of the time. Below are some uh, zoanthids that have been in the tank pretty much from uh, start. A little combination there. Um, been being trampled by some hermit crabs right now, so some are open, some are closed. Coming up here is a green star, I'm uh, not sorry, it's not a green star polyp, but it looks like green star polyp. It's actually a pipe organ coral. And behind here is an orange gorg. It's kind of hard to get to because the light's not bright right now. And behind that it's a purple gorg. It's more of a, I think it's a light loving type of gorg. It's doing really well. It's growing a lot and it's actually put out some uh, gametes the other night. Um, moving on up, um, Chips Acro, and that's about a year maybe a year, two or three months old, started as a small frag just uh, maybe about three quarters of an inch now it's probably about five or six inches wide you can see it's starting to table in two different levels there and above that is what's called a strawberry tabling acro um, it's a real pretty coral, The lights, some of the lights are off right now so it's not showing up as well as I'd like it to but um, it's also been in the tank about a year and three or four months the right of that is a hyacinth coral. This one I've had for a while and it was actually a burgundy color and it's turned to green. It really hasn't done a whole lot. Um, it's healthy, but it's, uh, it may not just be in a good spot. Um, behind it is a lengthy plate, which I keep having to break off, and a big bird's nest coral, as you can see. And really the only reason I leave that in there is this chromis is like to hide in it at night until I get some staghorn corals growing out more. Um, right here is a aura. Um, variety of coral. It's called the um, pearlberry. It also started as a small frag and it, I have fragged that coral quite a bit and it is a gorgeous coral as you can see here. Um, and it's probably about six inches across. Below is a new mariculture coral I just picked up. Um, video here looks like it's brown but it's really kind of a rose colored. Um, it looks like a millipora. I just picked it up uh, a couple days ago. And this coral down here is a rainbow monopora. It's interesting because it started out as a little cube here on top, overgrew that plug, and then it just kept pushing down but not attaching itself to the live rock below. And it's, that plug is actually lifted up about a half inch above the rock work. Now it is finally starting encrusting and getting some color in it on the bottom. Um, over here is a Rocky coral. It's called powder blue. It looks kind of green in this video because of the white balance setup, but it's I'm looking at it looks like a baby blue. Uh, some green recordia, purple fringes. Behind there's a chili pepper coral, but it's all closed up right now. It tends to open up early morning. This is a flower pot coral, also called a gonopora. There's an alvapora and a gonopora. This one was a rescue coral that I got from somebody. Behind here is a rainbow stylophora. Also started as a, just a small frag about the size of one of those little nodules on it. So it's now about five inches across. I got this as a frag from somebody. It's a pretty green with blue tips. Um, white balance unfortunately is showing it more just all green right now. Behind it, well there's a um, dendro. That was a gorgeous dendro, that, but my uh, cleaner shrimp found it and destroyed it one night. So I moved it up here, and that's one of the babies that are growing out now. Behind that is the Sunset Monopora. Um, some Zoanthids back there, and a Millipora that you see way back on the other side of the tank. This green coral here is actually a pink lemonade, but it's um, it fell off into some algae and it was left there for a couple weeks, and it's just now starting to make a comeback. So I'm glad to see that it's starting to get some color back in it. Uh, staghorn corals over here. 
apologize for the light. Um, there's a blue torque coil back there. This is an Acropora plana. I've had it for about a month. It's also a maricultured coral. Um, you take a little bit of a chance on maricultured corals because sometimes they just don't take a while to aquariums. This seems to be hanging in there. I'm not really convinced that it's going to make it yet or not. Um, it's doing okay. It just doesn't seem to have the polyp extension that I like to see on it. Not too sure what this one is. It was just given to me as a small frag from a local reefer here in the Dallas Fort Worth area. Um, it was probably like the size of one of those little branches, like maybe that one there. And this is how much it's grown in probably about eight months. More zoanthids and recordia. More zoanthids. This coral down here is called a Acropora Florence, And then you see it's got some sweepers out right now because I was feeding the tank earlier and it does have to grab small particles of food. Down here is a Christmas tree rock. It really needs more light. It's basically a big ball of porites with um, small feather dusters on it. Um, these guys were all attacked by my coral beauty angelfish. It seems to be leaving them alone now. They all had their feathers nipped off and they're starting to grow back as you can see. And down here on the bottom of the tank is a sun coral. Up here is a green bird's nest, also an ORA coral. It's doing pretty good. This is a frog spawn. Started as uh, two heads in this tank. It's actually from my old 300 gallon tank. I got this other coral from this, the same guy I got another one from. It was also a small branch that um, video doesn't do a lot of good. It's got a baby blue base with bright green. I've seen similar coral. I don't know if it's the same one called um, Lime in the Sky or something like that. It's a very nice looking staghorn coral looking like. You can see a bunch more zoanthids going across the top there. There's a Monopora undata on the other side of the tank. I can see actually pretty good in the reflection. Um, this is um, Symposium. And once it kind of finishes growing over this block, I'll cut it up and probably try to adhere it to some of the rock wall or maybe even the overflow of the tank. It's another new Mariculture coral I just got. A gorgeous coral, rose-colored top with a bright green base. Got a couple acro crabs in it. You can see one right there. Kind of. Let's see if I can get a close up of this guy. Really pretty. Okay. This is the Ponape bird's nest. Pretty popular coral these days. It's kind of a baby teal with purple tips. There's the anathids back there. Oh, looks like someone walked across part of that, part of the guilty party right there, that hermit crab. Uh, a bunch of frags up here. Um, moving down, just picked up this um, pearl bubble coral. Looks purple right now. My lights are starting to dim. It's kind of more of a pinkish color when all the lights are on. Some more zoanathids down here. Another frog spawn. A Duncan coral, which I've got three of them in this tank. There's a tree sponge there. And there's some zoanthids just cropping out on these chunks of rock and stuff in the bottom of the tank. There's a uh, purple of green tube anemone and a orange of green tube anemone. And I think that's it on really this side of the tank. I'll zoom back out so you get a full tank shot again. There you go.